Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm very excited that finally this thing is in place. So we have this password validation rule, and then today it also has this uncompromised function as well. So let's talk about what it does. Taylor Ort will just you know, tweeted it uh, some time back and that's why I decided it's a good time to talk about this new feature. So obviously validating passwords is something which is very interesting. It allows us to do a lot of chaining and so what we can basically do is I'll show you a quick demo. So I have this form where I have a text field where I can type anything and it does the validation. So for example the first one is that it needs at least five characters so if i do one two three four five it will say that at least one uppercase and one lowercase is required so if i do password one it will say that at least a symbol is required and if this is our password then it submits so let's see what uncompromised does okay so internally it is using this model to determine whether another you know, password is leaked or not and this is based on this service so so yes so this is what is being you know, used under the hood if you want you can check that okay and it takes certain parameters so let's see it's ensure the password appears less than three times in the same data leak okay i would rather use this with the default and let's see what happens so I'll go to my controller. So what I'm doing here is I have a simple form, right? Which I just showed you. Uh, so this is the form which starts. There is a CSRF field, a div, a label, an input of type text. I wanted to keep it as text so that you can see the actual password which I'm typing. You will typically have it as a password, right? And the controller is handling the form request, right? And here, in the validation i'll just add this okay hit save now let's just refresh this page and use our password again so this is our password okay the given password has appeared in the data leak please choose a different password that's interesting let's just say we do test at the rate one two three four five same thing and then let's just say my youtube channel okay this seems like a nice password if i do save okay it needs at least one symbol I will do add the rate and let's just see I'll keep it copied now it should pass right and it does so you can see this is really a very interesting feature where it not only allows you to have you know this kind of a chaining to ensure that the passwords which are added to your application is quite safe but also you know, this uncompromised thing is according to me a very killer feature where it is checking a database and it is on the fly telling you whether this password is safe or not so yes these are some features which really helps a developer really focus on you know doing the business logic of your application rather than you know, the bootstrapping of things and that's where i feel laravel excel every you know small improvement towards the framework does help the developers a lot and this is exactly one of the example so let me know what are your thoughts about this new feature and yeah if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel